Hello everyone, I'm Sam Reichard. You're watching the next episode of Mayor to Mayor and today with me, I'm proud to have Mayor Kedron Henderson of Waltz. Welcome to the show. Hey, how's it going? It's going how's great, going good, great. Hey, good. you know, and I think from what I read, things are going great in Waltz yeah. uh, right now. I looked at the uh, census numbers. Uh, you grew about 24% over the last decade. You know, yeah. your smallest city in right. in uh, DeSoto County, yeah. but that's not a bad thing. You know, you can uh, you can do a lot of things with a small city and keep the that small town charm there. The reason people are moving there. That's right. The population of Walls at the 2020 census was uh, I think 1,442 people. So uh, things are happening there. You have a young city though. That surprised me yeah. when I read that uh, median age about 28 years old. So uh, your campaign platform that I read about a year ago fits right in with the young city, with Absolutely. young families. Uh, you talked about uh, recreation opportunities for the youth. Uh, anything going on with that now? You know what, I, I'm very passionate about that because mm -hmm. you know you may remember you know I talked about my upbringing and uh, the, uh, the rec youth recreation that mm -hmm. went on in, in our precious town of Walls you know, at that time. So many things that I was able to be exposed to. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so what we're doing right now is uh, keeping that conversation going. Uh, we're trying to build some momentum uh, in, in our efforts to, uh, to to get that going. In the meantime, you know, we're going to make make sure that we have a concerted effort to make sure our parks, you know, are up to up to speed and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. To to because to, look, kids do, are doing this. Oh you know? yeah, they're yeah. doing this and they're doing this. You know, exactly. and, and, and we need to get 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 kids back outside, get moving, uh, get that vitamin D. You know, and uh, it just lends to you know better better quality. Ahead. Well, you know, it's not like it was when I was a kid growing up because we had none of this, <laughs> and we had none of the gaming, and uh, you know, it, if we did anything, it had to be outside. That's right. You know, because I'll tell folks we didn't even have air conditioning back in those days. So, yeah. you know, we went outside to to be cooler. Also, believe it or not, but I didn't have AC. Really? Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, it was a uh, it was a different time. Absolutely. In history, uh, you're. Uh, like I said, a young town. One of your other campaign platforms, I believe, dealt with um, residential and economic growth. And obviously, when you grow 24% in 10 years, there's, yes. there's something going right in Walls. Tell us about what's going right there. Well, again, you know, uh, you're spot on uh, to stimulate residential as well as economic growth is, you know, one of the pillars mm -hmm. that I ran on. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're in our infancy stages, you know. When I say yeah. precious town, when you think of a newborn baby, you think of a precious, you know, a, a new life. And uh, that's how I look at Walls, you know. And, uh, you know, we're, we're a precious town. Uh, we're in our infancy stages. And uh, we're, we're building infrastructure. Uh, uh, but certainly residential uh, and economic growth are, are, are top of mind there. And uh, during the first quarter of 2021, we actually broke ground on three new subdivisions. Uh, good quality homes mm -hmm. uh, there, there in our town of Wallace. And, uh, you know, we have three really nice schools in Wallace. So yes, you do. Uh, if you are a young, a young family starting out, uh, Walls, we really feel like is a place for you. But not only that, you know, if you're someone who's looking, you know, to live out your golden years of retirement, yeah. you know, quality of life is uh, something that we hang our hat on mm -hmm. in Walls, too. It's a safe town. Uh, mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful town. And uh, you can get out and walk and, uh, or cycle, as I do, uh, right. and, and, and that kind of thing, and not have to really you know, worry about a lot of traffic and, and, and things of that effect. So, uh, yeah. Well, your location over there seems to be ideal for what you were saying there because you can live in the small town with those, uh, that small town atmosphere. Yeah. If you want the, the amenities that the big city offers, Memphis is just across the state line from you. And if you want the, the Tunica Casino, experiences it's barely across the uh, county line to the south yeah, of you yeah uh, the tunica casinos are about 22 minutes mm -hmm. downtown memphis is about 25 minutes yeah uh, and guess what uh the airport uh memphis international airport's about 23 and a half minutes sounds like the perfect place yeah. to go then yeah yeah, yeah to we're, be. Right, we're right in the thick of things you know you mentioned infrastructure over there uh my experiences as mayor uh, of course you know infrastructure is is very important but it takes a lot of dollars to to create infrastructure and 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 you would be caught in the same dilemma that that maybe i was back in the late 1990s uh you you just about have to have the growth to pay for the infrastructure right. and a lot of people will yeah. say well you should have built that wide road before they came well the bottom line is you don't have the tax revenue to do it yeah at that point yeah, in time yeah, you know so yeah i guess my point is that uh, i would ask the public to be patient 
with public officials as they work through growth issues. Oh, absolutely. And, and you know, before I got into public service, you, you know, you go to the restroom and you turn the water, the turn the faucet on, mm -hmm. water comes out. Yeah. Right? It does. Uh, Most you, of the time. You flush the toilet, you <laughs> yeah. know, and, 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 but you don't think about the right. importance of water and sewer. Yeah. You know, uh, so that was uh, kind of an eye opening experience for me, mm -hmm. you know, just kind of getting my feet wet uh, in public service to realize how important those two things are. Yeah. Uh, and, and vital to infra, you know to the infrastructure and trying to trying to grow grow a city uh, or a town. Uh, but you know what? We're going to plug away about it. And yes, please be patient. Yeah. You know, with us, but uh, work with us. You exactly. Know, work with us at yeah. the same time. Uh, and as long as uh, we're moving, uh, we we want the community moving right along with us. I have told people over the years uh, when you look at all of the services a municipality or community can provide, without water, nothing happens. <laughs> Absolutely. You know. You, yeah. you have to have that first, and yeah. then after that, you can build upon everything else. I, I read interesting, uh, I get all my information from the Internet like everybody else does, you know, but it said, talked about famous people from walls, and I thought yeah. that might be something interesting to talk about. Of course, all of us have heard of Memphis Minnie, oh, yeah. a musician, you know, oh, yeah. from walls, and I, and I think she's laid to rest in yeah. walls. I, I didn't know walls. that Led Zeppelin uh, played a lot of her songs. And Led Zeppelin did a cover <laughs> of her song and won a Grammy for it. Really? Okay. Uh, the title of that song is When the Bow Breaks. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, Memphis Minnie, uh, she recorded over 100 songs okay. when she settled there uh, in our precious town of Walls. And yes, her final resting place is in Walls. And uh, I actually spoke to one of her nephews a few months back, and uh, the family is, is, is all in uh, on us mm -hmm. building on her legacy Good. there in Walls. Yeah. And we have lofty goals of doing so. That sounds like a, a destination point eventually then yeah, for yeah. people uh, interested in music and particularly the blues. It, particularly the blues. Uh, we, we are uh, in the process of developing um, uh, the Delta Blues District idea, right? And mm -hmm. uh, we, we, uh, we really feel like that we're pumped and primed. Uh, there's two things, you know, the Delta, cotton and blues. You know, both of which are still, you know, very prominent mm -hmm. around. Right. Uh, but we want to develop the Delta uh, Blues District there in Walls. And uh, Memphis Mini uh, and her legacy is, is certainly going to be an integral part of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you mentioned cotton, and, and agriculture still is a big part of the life of, of Walls and its surrounding area. Yes. So I'm sure a lot of people are employed there. Are, what other, I guess, what, what would you say are your major industries in Walls now? Well, uh, you know what? Cotton certainly uh, mm -hmm. is, is prevalent. Soybean, uh, agriculture by and large uh, in the Delta, you know, that, that's still going to be our, our, our biggest form of mm -hmm. industry. Uh, but uh, you know what? We are, are, are having that, that net dropped each and every day and, you yep. know, trying to, you know, talk <laughs> to businesses from a, you know, manufacturing standpoint, right. uh, from a distribution standpoint. Uh, but you know, it doesn't stop there. You know what? Walls uh, has room for, for a tech company as well. Mm -hmm. You know, right. uh, so, uh, you know, we are concentrated on those efforts and, and you know, again, you know, if we're going to grow, you know, we're going to have to, you know, attract, you know, some industry uh, into our precious town. But but the first things first, and as you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, we got it to rooftops. Right, and, exactly. Uh, and, and rooftops are the key. Got to get to rooftops and, and we're off to a good start. You are. Yeah. I, I, I jumped away from famous people. I didn't mention earlier Harvey Whippleman. Oh, yeah. who I think oh, yeah. is called Bruno, right? Downtown Bruno. A WWF wrestler, and, and he's, he's on your board of aldermen now, right? He is on our board of aldermen, newly, newly elected board, board okay. member uh, there on our board of aldermen. And I'll tell you something else. He just last week uh, was inducted into the Memphis Wrestling Hall of okay. Fame okay. Uh, in uh, such an exciting time. But I'll tell you this, he has a strong affinity for Walsh yeah. and, uh, you know, his love for our town. Uh, he's lived there for over 50 years. You know, he's lived in Walsh. Walsh well, has been home for him over 50 years. And, uh, you know, Dwayne Rock Johnson, he, he had a tribute to him. Mm -hmm. He actually lived in Walsh uh, with Bruno during the early stages of his career and uh, kind of paid it forward and gave him, you know, some flowers and that kind of thing. Yeah. So uh, he's doing a lot of great work for us uh, there in our precious town. You know, and it's not just pomp and circumstance with him. He's, yeah. he, he's a doer. Good. Yeah. 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 You mentioned, uh, I think, well, no, you didn't mention, but another goal uh, in your June of 2020 campaign effort was police relations. Yes, yes. Uh, well, more, more specifically, it was augmenting public service. Okay. And uh, obviously, police, you know, fall into that. 
and I'm very proud of the work that we have been able to do and kind of kind of getting our police department on the right track. Mm -hmm. We had to hire a, a new chief and uh, we got a great guy, uh, Chief Danny Bridges, uh, over 20 year military veteran. Uh, you know, uh, he has a strong affinity for community policing, which falls into my vision. Mm -hmm. uh, right. You know, and we do a lot of we do a lot of great things. Uh, there, there, there are groups that come in and support us. Um, Miss Selby, Miss Pam Selby, she has a group. How you doing, Miss Selby? If you're watching, uh, she actually uh, was one of our teachers there at mm -hmm. at, at, at Wiles Elementary, and uh, they have a program called Back in the Blue. And they come in and visit with us quite often, and they, you know, bring breakfast, and uh, yeah. we pray, and you know, have you know, good conversations because they're out boots on the ground. You know, they're, exactly. they're they're talking to the citizens, and they're you know, bringing us ideas and that kind of thing. But uh, you know, the the police department is growing, and uh, we want to grow more. So if you're someone who uh, are watching and you're looking for a uh, a new profession or or just a a change, come to Walls. We'd love to have you part part of yeah. our police squad. Well, community-oriented policing um, is one of uh, Chief Don Gamage's passion here in Olive Branch, and I think his emphasis on that has certainly gone a long way to, to bring the community together with the police. You know, the police yes. are not the bad guys. They're, no. they're there to help you. That's you right. Know. That is absolutely right. And, and one of the things we talk about, Tim, is, is you know, we don't want someone's first run-in with authority mm -hmm. to be when you're pulled over for a traffic ticket right. or worse. Uh, so we try to make sure that, you know, we're, we're present in the community in that way. The first experience is, is a positive experience. Uh, and then if you're in a situation where you need authorities, uh, number one, you're not hesitant to call. Right. Uh, because so many times, uh, particularly with, you know, uh, when we look at some of the things that, that happen with women, you know, well, I'm not going to call because there's nothing that they can do. Yep. And you know what I mean? Well, there, there is something that they can do, but you got to have that trust there. And, and that's important. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I noticed in a, in a meeting about a month ago, uh, Walls adopted, I think, their first zoning ordinance yes. officially with the town of Walls. Uh, in right. the past, you've uh, you've uh, relied upon the, the county's zoning ordinance. Yes. Uh, you have any thoughts or comments about that? Yeah, well, again, you know, that, that's in lockstep with augmenting public service. We felt that it was important to establish our own identity, you know. Uh, certainly, uh, we, we really appreciate the fact that the county uh, works with us, you know, uh, and uh, supports us and, uh, and, and has a really good relationship mm -hmm. with, with our town. Uh, and we have been, you know, kind of going by their ordinances. And, and we didn't reinvent the wheel, uh, right. but we did, you know, uh, take a strong, hard look at some of the ordinances and say, hey, what works best for walls? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we were able to, you know, kind of get that done. Uh, and, you know, I want to give the county some flowers, too, because, you know, we, uh, when we talk about augmenting public service, uh, we opened uh, a new park under my administration. Uh, it's a, a pedestrian and cycling park, Johnson Creek. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful, just beautiful uh, 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 trail there uh, in our precious town of Walls. If you haven't had the opportunity to check it out, if you're someone who gets out and walks, or if you are a cyclist, you got to check out Johnson Creek. Uh, and then another thing that we were able to do, uh, Sam, is we were able to open up the Star Landing Bridge, okay. uh, brand, yeah. brand new bridge project that we were able to get get opened up. And I think that was done probably my second month in mm -hmm. office. Uh, you know, so 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 shout out to the county. Yeah. Well, the county's always uh, been there to provide those basic services. Uh, you know, they, uh, they, they, you know, the sheriff's deputies, you can see them inside city limits anywhere oh, in yes. DeSoto County. Oh, you yes. know, because they cover the whole county. They're, they're the sheriff's department for all of DeSoto County, not just the incorporated areas. And, and they do that. Yeah. And all, and they help. Um, any, anything else you'd like to talk about that we skipped or we missed that, that the people in Walls or the surrounding area need to know about? Well, you know what, I'd like to uh, shine a little light on, on health. Uh, okay. I, I started a uh, mayoral health council, and, uh, you know, mental health uh, for so many years has been, you know, overlooked. Not so much recently. I mean, you know, we, we understand the importance of mental health uh, these days, and certainly in the climate that we're living in, 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 in this, you know, COVID-19 mm -hmm. era, we have to, you know, make sure that we're doing things to keep ourselves safe. Uh, you know, you know, staying in shape and making sure our blood pressure is intact and things of that effect. Uh, you know, so I, I, I would herald everyone to get out and walk or ride, you know, uh, 
make make a day, uh, you know, throughout the week where you're concentrated on your health. Do you know? Don't eat that extra, yeah, that extra piece of cake that day, you know, <laughs> or drink an extra bottle of water. Yeah. You know, there are little things that that you know, we were just talking about it a minute ago. Mm -hmm. You know, if you if you pack on ten pounds during the winter months, <laughs> and during the summer months you only lose eight of it. Yeah. Well, right, yeah. over the years, those two pounds will tend to you know kind of creep up on you. Yeah. He's talking about me now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, look, it, it look, I, I'm I'm guilty of it too. I'm guilty of it too and uh you know it's the thing is is that you know the the if you eat an apple a day right well someone somewhere along the line someone said a snicker a day yeah. and you eat that snicker and nothing happened well guess what over time you continue to eat that snicker <laughs> and you don't eat that apple you know what i mean you, 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 yeah, you're kind of looking for it so but but it all it all it all goes back to being deliberate so we yeah. just got to be deliberate to take care of ourselves my so. main problem is that bag of chocolate kisses right next to my chair when I'm watching TV and I just yeah. constantly do this. You yeah. know, I need to move those somewhere else. So See, I have to me, at least I have to walk to them. Yeah, for me it's Reese's peanut butter cups. I buy them <laughs> those at are Sam's, good too. Those I buy are good them too. At Sam's yeah. in bulk. Yeah, uh, they are, but, they're great. But I will tell you, the 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 big container that I have right now, I have probably had it for about four months. It wouldn't yeah. last me long at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I think that wraps us up here at with this episode of Mayor to Mayor. I've been Honored to have in my presence today, Mayor Kedron Henderson of Walls. Oh, Good yeah. to have you. We'll have you back uh, uh, soon, I hope. Oh, absolutely. Right. You know, I, I love coming here and talking to you guys. Uh, shout out TJ Cakes. Uh, a good, good friend, yeah. good, good guy, great person. Uh, but yeah, anytime the invitation is extended, if the dots connect, I'm going to be here. Well, I would like to make this show a regular show. I don't know whether we quarterly or, or, or maybe you know, by annually or whatever, but we'd like to make it a regular show. And, yep. and it's been a pleasure having you on with us today. I'm Sam Reichert, and you've been watching Mayor to Mayor.